Okay, let's start. Can you um, explain what is speed? Okay, speed. <laughs> well, let's talk about speed. To install the mount, we have to line up the hole over here just by inserting it down here. When it's lined up, it will seat in. Okay. Then we have to clamp it down to hold it in place. And I don't have it lined up. That figures it'll do that when you're talking about it. Next, we'll need to install our cable. And there's a groove in the side here that we'll start by inserting the cable, sliding in. I'll turn that to the side. And then we're going to do two turns. One. And a second turn. Then, we'll line our caps down up here to where our notch here in the back will line up with this cable. Come to this one and start one notch below. Make one turn. Okay. And then we may have to turn this slightly to get the wedge to line up. Then we'll do one more turn. Okay. And then we'll come back to this then we're going to finish the twist. Then we have a slot here on top where the wedge will go in from the side. Okay. Then we'll take the slack up by adjusting this knob here. Tighten it until this is snug. Okay. Then we have two wing nuts here and here. And we'll tighten up. Okay. Now our cable is tight. And we can install our torque wrench. By sliding the handle through this slot, lining the socket up with this nut, like that, and now we're ready to set the torque. I'll go ahead and turn my power supply on, which is a 28 volt power supply. I'll engage the solenoid, which will hold this capstan solid. Okay. <coughs> I'm going to use a 9 16 inch wrench where we'll adjust this nut here to adjust the torque setting. I'll turn my motor on. Note my torque in one direction. Reverse the direction. Note it in another. So this clutch doesn't have any torque set on it. Turn my motor off. And I will adjust this nut here by tightening it. And we're going to go for a target of 30 inch pounds on our torque. I'm going to turn the motor back on. See what my torque reading is in one direction. We're going to let it run for a little while to make sure it's stable. Then we're going to flip direction of the motor. And check it in the other direction. Let it run just a little bit. Okay, I need to adjust it a little bit more. So I'll adjust my nut a little bit tighter. <clears throat> Turn the motor back on. Check it in our different directions. So I've got this one up about roughly 32, 33. So this is set slightly high. I'll turn my motor on. Loosen the nut just a little bit. And then we'll turn the motor back on and check it. In both directions. We'll let it run just a little while to settle in. 
okay. I'm still slightly high. So I'll make another adjustment and run it again. And there it's pretty much adjusted on 30, plus or minus one or two inch times. Okay. Now we'll look at our nut to see if we have a hole that's lined up for the cotter pin. And we do on this side. If it doesn't line up, then you can usually tighten this just a little bit. There are a couple different holes that you can stick a cotter pin in. Tighten it up a little bit until one of those two holes line up. Then once that's completed, check your torque again in case you had to tighten the nut. Make sure you're still within tolerance. And then <clears throat> go ahead and insert your cotter pin and you're done with the set procedure. Now before you take the mount off of the test stand, you need to relieve the pressure that's on your torque wrench. To do that, turn your motor in the opposite direction just briefly to where it takes the tension off our torque wrench and we can remove it. Then you can turn the solenoid off, remove the cable, and the servo mount's ready for installation in the airplane. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you very much. <laughs>